Hey everyone, welcome back to Economist. In a previous video, we tackled running web interfaces on your local network, but this time we're taking things up a notch. Let's say you want to run Stable Diffusion Forge, Focus, Comfy UI, or any web UI for that matter, remotely. There are options like Gradio's dash dash share argument. But hold on, the link it creates only lasts 72 hours, forcing you to constantly generate new ones. Plus, security-wise, it's not ideal. Anyone can potentially access your web UI. Don't worry, there's a better way. Secure, unlimited, and super easy. We'll use a fantastic tool called Ngrok. First things first, head over to Google and search for Ngrok. On their download page, grab the version that matches your operating system. Once downloaded, create an account on their website. On the main dashboard, choose your OS and copy the command that adds your unique authentication token to ngrok's configuration file. Now, unzip the downloaded program and run the executable. In your command prompt, paste the copied command and press enter. If a message pops up saying, Authakin added successfully, you're golden. Let's run a web UI, in this case, Stable Diffusion Forge. Take a look at the address bar and note the port number. In our case, it's 7860. Now, back in your command prompt, type ungrok http 7860 and press enter. Here's the magic part. You've just created a unique forwarding address. Grab any device with internet access, paste that address into your web browser, and voila! You're now connected to your web UI remotely. Go ahead, generate some amazing images using the power of your host device, no matter where you are. The free version of Ungrok allows one web UI connection at a time. But here's a neat trick. Use a remote desktop software to access your host device and switch between web UIs like Comfy UI port 81888 by default. Just close the current Ungrok command prompt, open a new one, type Ungrok HTTP 8188, grab the new forwarding address, and access Comfy UI from anywhere. Remember, your host device needs to be powered on and connected to the internet for you to use your web UIs remotely. So there you have it. Now you can unleash the power of your web UIs from any device, anywhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI-related videos.